racism spreads. It's like a new trend. People see other people doing it, so they join in and think it's okay. They are influenced by the people around them. The more people are going to think that, that this is okay, the more people do it. This isn't okay and it needs to stop. You would think after an incident like the George Floyd one, people would stop, but no, people carry on. And you, and you just think, why? There's no reason to be racist. What has the colour of their skin done to hurt you? of one thing in common. We are all human. We are all different in many ways. That is just how we're made. Some of us may have green eyes, brown eyes, and even blue. We may even have different hairstyles. But there is one problem. People like me are treated differently. People like me are just by the color of their skin. People like me, and when I say people like me, I mean black people, are associated with negative stereotypes by default. What jumps to your mind when you hear the word racism? Discrimination, antagonism, ethnicity. Racism has been around for over 600 years and many people have been affected by it. Imagine a world where everyone was treated equally, a world where everyone got along. We may look different, but inside we are all the same. Did you know that over 95% of black, Asian and minority ethnic people in Britain have faced some form of racism or racial prejudice? That's correct. Who would have ever imagined a world full of hatred and unkindness? Who? Overall, my main points to you were that you should never bully anyone, no matter what. Or if you are being bullied, make sure to always tell someone, even if the bully is threatening you. From my speech today, I hope that it is clear that if you do bully anyone, then you will face serious consequences. But other than that, in summary, I would like to say that you should be kind, caring and loving to everyone, no matter who they are or what they do.